So mental freedom, what, what is that? <clears throat> Dive into that more. Look, we all have cer certain thought patterns that we always go to, right? And a lot of times our brain is designed in a way to protect us, not to make us happy, right? We're all wired for survival. And so the only difference is we're not having like saber tooth tigers chasing us down running for our lives. So now we're having these first world problems where it's like, you know, how do I, how do I, have the ability to travel around the world and not have to worry about money, right? And so these specific thought patterns we have either hurt us or they help us. And we just get into these patterns of thought that we keep replaying over and over in our mind. In fact, we have 60 to 70,000 thoughts a day. Most of them are recycled. It's very often, it's, and I'll, I'll do this, I'll say this, that's why it's so healthy to have a mentor or a coach or an online community or even attend events where people who are just going to that next level, but they think differently than you, right? You, you don't want to just get around five people who are more successful than you. You want to get around five people who think differently than you, because if you could think the way they think, then you'll do what they do. And eventually you'll have what they have. That's why it's so important to get around those people. So whenever I get around high level people, I don't want to know their strategies. You know, like we're going to talk a little bit around co-living, which is a great strategy. But I want to know, like, why are you investing? Like, how do you think about investing? Like, if I'm sitting here thinking, what if I lose, like, no one wants to invest in my, you know, rent my property? Whereas the other person is like, well, hey, when I think, how much am I going to cash flow and how much freedom will I have once my property is full? Those are two different thought processes two different thought habits. One's going to lead you down a path of fear because your thoughts stimulate an emotion. And based on your emotion, most of the time, the masses, they live by their emotion, which I don't recommend. You live by principles and habits versus emotions. But when you have that fear emotion, guess what? That person's not going to invest in that opportunity. Whereas this person over here, they're not being optimistic. It's not about being positive or negative. It's about what are the consistent thought habits that you have. And if you think, hey, you know what, what's life going to look like when I get my first property full? What's going to look like when my second property full? What's going to look like? What's life going to look like when I have 15 grand a month passively coming in? Single or family? What is that impact? When you think about that, that's going to lead to excitement, um, optimism, and you're going to move forward where this person is going to stop. And they both have the same opportunity. They just think differently. One doesn't get the cash flow, the other one does, and they travel the world like you're doing. And that is the biggest thing. And, and, and if you can master the way you think, and a lot of times for all of you listening, what I would say is a quick little exercise for the next three days, write down, what do you think about? Think about what you think about and you'll start seeing your thought habits and you'll be like, wow, I believe that once you read it and all of a sudden the game changes for you. And you can start to shift these new beliefs and create new, we, It's an, I don't want to geek out here, but you create new neural pathways in their brain. And all of a sudden, that's your new habit of thought. And that's why you see people succeeding. So get around people who think bigger than you and think differently than you and question their, th uh, their thought habits versus their strategies. Life will transform faster for you. Mic drop episode is over. Joe, you just had so much value right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. That was something that I am going to go back and re-listen to because there was stuff that I was taking notes and writing down. Um, and I think you have another one because these exercises are is something that I love people sharing because it's amazing to listen to a podcast. Guys, it's amazing to read a book. Nothing's going to happen in your life any differently if you don't go apply what you listen to. Yeah. And so I think exercises and taking time and thinking about things and then game planning them out. So you just gave one exercise. What do you think about for three days? Write that down. Do you want to dive into the exercise a little bit more? And then also in the back of your head, is there any other exercises that you think would be super beneficial for this growth house community? Yeah. I mean, oh, there's, there's so many, um, look, I'll keep it simple, right? Because, um, complexity is the enemy of execution. And the whole goal of what you're doing here is to help people move forward. Um, and so write down, what are all the limiting beliefs that you have? What are the limitations that you believe is holding you back? And just write them down because it's amazing. Instead of, I think of those 60 to 70 thoughts that we have a day, when we, I think about it like a tornado spinning. We're having all these thoughts and you learn something and it's just all spinning. But if you can write it down, you actually have another um, 
another modality, right? A, a sense of visualization to see, wow, I believe all of that. And just gear, do you believe that or not? And if you do, then what I just keep it simple, cross it out, right? And then right next to it, right? What's the opposite belief for that? What is that? It's very simple, but it's it can be so profound. Like I'm not good enough at, or maybe it's like, I'm not, a, a, I'm not good at underwriting deals. And cross that out, right? I am excellent at writing underwriting deals, right? And if you keep repeating that to yourself, the unconscious is, it learns through repetition, right? That's why we're able to tie our shoes and get so good at it. You've just done it a million times. Or, you know, if you're going to the gym and you're so good at lifting, it's like there's certain things that we've done so much that we got good at. And so the, the way we think is no different. And so the unconscious needs to re read that over and over and over to ingrain it because our unconscious controls 90 to 99% of us, depending on which study you think of or read, excuse me. And so um, you just want to get that into your unconscious. So it's a simple exercise, but here's the other thing. Here's a third component is you can't battle thoughts with thoughts. You can't say, I'm not good at underwriting in your brain and be like, oh, I'm not, I'm great at underwriting. You got to speak it. You have to hear yourself speaking what you believe because you believe it more, right? And so that's where people get affirmations or incantations, but there is power. There's, you know, in the Bible, it says life and death is in the power of the tongue. And so uh, like people could say words don't matter, but if I said, you know, hey, Jesse, you suck versus, hey, Jesse, you're the man, you feel different, right? Even if you know you're the man, but if I told you you sucked, you feel different in the moment. So you got to battle th negative thoughts with positive words. There was a study done um, about how a negative thought is five times more powerful than a positive thought. But if you speak the negative thought, it is 10 times more powerful. And so a lot of times what I, when I'm working with a client or working with an investor, what, I'd like to hear what they're, what they say is what they think, right? We all know that. Like what you think about is what we say. And so, um, especially if you get some alcohol in you, then it really comes out, you know, but, uh, but a lot of times I just, I, I just want to get clients to just shut their mouth, stop speaking their negative limiting beliefs because there's power behind that. So, a lot of and he, there was even uh, a college uh, psychologist who would go to colleges and football and basketball teams and tell them, stop speaking the negative. Just don't even say anything. If you keep your mouth quiet, you'll be more powerful and more successful. So I like to just hear what are people saying and how do we shift that? So um, hopefully that helps there.